Hello friend! Welcome back to my channel, Marco for You Perfume. This is episode number 33 and today I'm gonna review 10 Lapidus to 1 for men EDT concentration. Please consider to subscribe, to like, share and tap the bell so every time there's a new release you will be informed. Okay, so basically today we're gonna to talk about Ted Lapidus, so Lapidus pour homme. Okay, I remind you that Ted Lapidus, Ted Lapidus was a French designer that passed away already. Uh, he was famous in the 60s and in the 70s. Uh, basically, uh, Ted Lapidus uh, was a designer that created and specialized in suits. He created his style, army and safari style in haute couture. And he was very, very popular. It was very expensive, by the way. Uh, this Teddy Lapidus Purum is a real alpha male perfume. Uh, it's a male fragrance. It testosterone in a bottle. It came from the past. It was released in 1987. It's a very polar polarizing scent, really. The perfumer behind it is Martin Gras, the famous one. And I remind you that Ted Lapidus is under uh, uh, the same umbrella company that Jacques Bogart, another powerhouse indeed. If you don't like old school powerhouse, just hide under your flannel blanket because this one, it's a majesty of the 80s. Okay, some teenager really hate this one. Really, it's not a cup of tea, it's not a freshy. Okay, it's not a, a, a scent that you can say, wow. It's not that, no, it's more refined in the same time aggressive okay it's for alpha male i told you it's more mature and that's why uh, basically mature really adored some mature indeed so today episode is about this 100 ml bottle edt concentration with a vintage touch i kind of like it it's aerodynamic it's hold good in the hand the box i really don't care this is it, this is it, bye bye. And it's an old school bottle, an old school scent. It's a kind of barbershop, but a powerful one, a nuclear one. So uh, I bought this 100 ml uh, EDT concentration for around 15 euros, which is around $20. Uh, the distribution here is very powerful too. The category genre is Oriental Aromatic Fougere. Uh, the note in the opening, okay, the official note, you got pineapple, lavender, artemisia, juniper, berries, note, uh, lemon, basil, and bergamot. It's, it's going to be very long, so I'll read it. In the mini note, you got honey, which is very uh, present on this one, incense, pine tree, rose, Brazilian rosewood, caraway, orris root, jasmine, lily of the valley, and petit grain. And in the bay note, Oh, the dry down. You got tobacco, patchouli, oak moss, cord, amber, mass, sandalwood, tang, uh, tonka bean, and cedar. Sorry, it's long. Yes, it's a rich scent, really rich scent, and quite amazing how they can put all these notes inside this 100 ml bottle. Okay, it's a very sweet honey based uh, and floral and musky scent quite powdery and quite animalic so you get the picture of this one the season you can wear it it's more of fall and winter so autumn and winter only because it's very potent what did it remind me it remind me uh, or it's an alternative to this one which i can tell you it's similar to this one 80 percent it's kuros edt by yves saint laurent that cost around 55 euros 63 dollars for one on bill i was wearing kuros and this one too during my teenage years, a few years ago. So we got another cheap powerhouse designer fragrance in the room. So for this aromatic uh, oriental scent to last six hours on your skin and 10 on your natural fiber, you need between four to five sprays. The projection is enormous, two meters around you and project for two and a half hours. So you see it's powerhouse. The sillage is huge after you leave a small room. 
people still can detect it like cross in those days. The demography is more mature from 40 years old to 80 years old. The occasion to wear it is clubbing, pubs, outdoor activities, open space, eventually a no occasion if you're bold personality, you got a bold personality, perfect for bikers, for example. But if you are taking uh, the elevator every day at work or in your neighborhood, in your building, be light on the trigger on this one, okay? Uh, the season, as I told you, autumn and winter only. Be aware, never wear this one in any circumstances in the hot days. Never, ever. The note I will give for Ted Lapidus Pro Rome is 7 out of 10 for this bold, sweet and potent fragrance from a powerhouse Ted Lapidus. Not really a compliment getter, but people get curious. But if you want to mark your differences with all the freshies and unboxing mainstream bombs, that's it. It's very complex. It's a rich scent. It's uh, for you if you got this bold personality. I spray myself per personally three spritz, two on my body, one on my shirt, and that's it. I'm good to go. Also, I recommend it because it's a cheaper alternative to cruise, as I mentioned. It will last this bottle for years, as I already said. Never judge a perfume at the first sniff, especially this one. Let your brain get used to the scent. Uh, give it at least five tries. So should you buy it? Should you consider it? Or should you avoid it? I think you should buy it, but don't blind buy it because it's very potent. It's old-fashioned barbershop style. Uh, in my honest opinion, you should consider it if you don't like those kind of uh, fragrance. If not, don't buy it. Especially if you're starting your journey in perfume collection because it's a well-blended and rich scent. It's perfect as a signature scent, yes. Uh, and it's very affordable for the quality offer. It's a bargain. Okay, thank you for watching Marco For You Perfume. Feel free to share, to like, to comment. And welcome to next episode. Bye-bye.